burp Ooh. yourself. Get I can't. How? how pat, you? pat your chest. What do you mean, how? It's not working. Harder. It's not working. Harder. That's just. It's just making more carbonation appear in Harder. my stomach. Harder. How? What do you mean, how? More force. Get some more muscles. Croics. Yeah, that'll Oh, my God. Yeah, this is come on. agony. This is the worst intro Hurt. to an episode. You know what you need had. to do? You need to jump up and down. That'll help. Jump up and down. <laughs> Bob, do you think we should stop letting him win after how horrible this has been? Yeah, Mark, uh, this is why you never win, because you can't. Oh, can't host God. Save your I life. Feel, I'm going to throw I'm going to throw up. I feel like I'm going to throw up. Jump up and down. It'll save your life. <laughs> <laughs> or do some somersaults. Do some somersaults. <laughs> This is terrible advice. What oh, about a God. cartwheel? I know you can cartwheel. 13.75 jumping jacks. Oh, God. <sighs> It'll come out eventually. I'm just trying to accelerate the process of it coming out. All right, I'm going to jump up and down, I guess. I have Amy or someone beating in the back of the broom. I can't hear you guys because I took out my headphone. Good. <sighs> I'm, I'm excited. Oh, God. Do it. <sighs> yes. <sighs> if we hear him vomit, I might actually have to leave for a minute. It's not helping. It's forcing it down. <laughs> 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 Relax, uh, relax your muscles. Oh, uh, did you relax your muscles while you were doing it? Because that's really. Oh, uh, you, right? you relax your muscles when you're jumping. That's my nose. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine if you were like traveling or in Cincy or something and that dropped right then? Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean it's it's kind of one of those things, and I don't mean to be egotistical about it, but people seem to be willing to wait for me to play those games. Oh yeah, uh, me too. They're still waiting. They'll be waiting a while, but yeah, they're they're waiting. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much all I did. I got nothing. Give Bob the points. I don't. I deserve nothing. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, Bob, have uh, have three points. One per <laughs> grandma's present you had to hold the whole trip. <laughs> oh, thanks. You're welcome. Don't forget, you're the host. I don't know why I assume your grandma gave you three presents, but I'm assuming you got three. Because my grandma loves me. Sure. And hasn't listened to this podcast yet, so her opinion has not changed. Podcast out! <laughs> Yeah, Mark, you forgot the outro, damn. Right, I did, I did, I did. Is that an extra but, point? Do I win now? No, I did, I did my Wade impression. That was my, that was my. Oh, oh was yeah, that was good. It was a little gravelly. That was good, right? Man, you guys really don't need me. I've been, like, replaced. Really Are you even real? I don't need to be anymore. No, that was me. Oh, well, I don't need to be anymore. <laughs> Sorry. Me again. <laughs> I don't think it works as well if you actually talk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need me anymore. Yeah, you know, I don't need anymore. All right, fine. Is resolutions getting any better? Never bad to begin with. Never bad to give in to begin. Give me a bob. <laughs> Never, uh, me too. <laughs> Whatever Mark said, same. Yeah. At what age did I lose my virginity? Never fucking virgin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I almost spit coffee. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was selfish. supposed to host this week. I won, but whatever. That's what? That's just not true. <laughs> I declared myself the winner last time. What? Wait a minute. Okay, were you the host last time? No. <laughs> then that means nothing. <laughs> I'll take away point. I won't. I'm not going to, because you'll like it. Oh, come on. It's no, been a while, Mark. No, no, it's been a while no, since you've taken my points away. No, no, no. I'm not doing that. I'm not giving you what you want. Oh, come on, you tease. I would never. Have you guys ever heard about what they do for Christmas in uh, Greenland? No. Nope. Didn't know people lived in Greenland. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they they do. <laughs> All right. I was just trees and ice. Very cold. I didn't even think there were trees. I thought it was just ice. So I started from zero. You can't go negative into Baxi action. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right. I'm right. <laughs> the dumbest serious sentence ever uttered. <laughs> I'm not big enough of a streamer to go after Tim, so I'll just say I understand. Go after him? Are you going to go after him for that? I can't believe you guys are going after him like this is starting this Twitter drama. <laughs> Let's keep dragging him, guys. Yeah. He's almost down. Roast him harder. Oh, I can't do it. My clout is not enough. It's a battle I'll lose. Oh, my clout. My cloud is weak. <laughs> Even if I have correctness on my side, it can't overpower the <laughs> stupidity of social media. Wait, how dumb are you calling Tim here? What are you saying? I don't, I don't know. I call social media dumb, not Tim. I think he was just complimenting Tim's cloud. Is he social media? He might be. Of course he is. It's no longer Tom. <laughs> it's now Tim. This is Tim. What happened to Tom? He was Tom the No Tap Man. Now he's Tim the Tat Man. Oh, God. You've changed, Tom. I think he prefers Tim now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do you think short people are dumber than tall people? Uh, Be careful with this one. It's a trap. 
Yes, yes, <laughs> I agree. Chica does like to punch me right in the nuts <laughs> all the time. She loves to, whenever I'm around Chica, she loves to snoot me right in the nuts. Mm -hmm. She loves to walk up and just be like, hey, bonk. Oh, yeah, she does do that. Yeah. She just walks right up and do oh, the ball. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. completely sweet and adorable, but also I'm always like, ha! Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> if, if you juice a, a bottle of orange juice, is it just become orange juice with glass chunks in it? What if you did that and just water came out and all the orange stuff stayed in the juicer? It's like magic. And, and also, wait, when have you ever seen a glass bottle of orange juice? <laughs> Internet. <laughs> 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 good answer good answer good answer good answer thank you thank you i have to google if there are testicle implants now. oh 100 not, not there for are. myself but you know just, oh no yeah no personal interest for any reason related to any nutball injuries not that this is the forum but whenever a guy gets an erection isn't some of the skin that helps in the extension come from the ball so if you made your balls really big wouldn't you have a tiny boner am i doing that science right i mean by comparison i guess that is a practical analysis of how the penis works that i have never and continue to not want to delve into where does it come where from, does it come from? Right, where? There's, an, there's, there's an article where do boners where come, do from? come from <laughs> give me something personal what do you got i broke my balls in europe when we did the you're welcome tour personal not exactly current <laughs> but i'll take it oh mark have you ever broken your balls no <laughs> that's it. That sounds like a lie. That sounds like some juicy context not, behind I've that. I've never no. broken my balls. <laughs> you ever, you ever damaged them? No. Oh, I did. I punched myself in the balls when I got scared streaming a couple weeks ago, months ago. I don't know how long ago it was. Years ago. All right. So I, I don't know if you guys know about this, but I used to play a game called Nutball. Uh, what? Back in high school. Yeah. Uh, so when I say that I haven't broken my balls, I uh, I'm pretty sure I haven't. But Nutball did get pretty extreme. There also was a version we called Nutball Extreme that we did on a show that won't be named ever again. So <clears throat> my balls are fine. If anyone at home was wondering, my balls. So are, they've recovered. They've they've they were never out of the picture in the first place. Who were you trying to impress out there with? My balls are fine. Don't trust me. Well, who, who? I don't want everyone thinking I got broke ass balls flopping in my pants. This is the second episode where the intro has included concerning discussion of Mark's balls. Can I just say that? When have we talked about my balls in another episode? Episode two, you were gloating about winning, and you were like the enormously testicled. <laughs> you know what? I think we're getting like a weird like secondhand picture of some trauma that Mark suffered from a game of extreme <laughs> nutball during his 11th grade year. He's that guy that got ball implants. It was like, okay, wait, uh, hold on. I do that all the time. No, you're atrocious, but it's not on purpose. <laughs> the thing where you spell it really emphatically. Reddit.com slash Lars. Holy fuck. <laughs> Reddit.com slash Lars slash Destructible. Your mocking of me fell apart at the seams. We Germans pranked Americans to be like, oh, yeah, we hide the pickle all the time. My German accent is not My good. favorite German accent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Please keep you going, guys, German You guys Mark. go for it. No, no, no. It's not oh, just yeah, going to be me. We hide the pickle all the time. That's the one. Every year we put the pickle on the tree. We hide the pickle on the tree, laddie. <laughs> my favorite German accent. Get out of my tree. You're German, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, hi, I'm German. <laughs> oh, yeah, vo. Wink, wonk. Let me get you the pickle from the cool trunk. <laughs> what do you mean, German? I'm from Moscow. <laughs> we have babushka here. Oh, hi, I'm Japanese. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is why we agreed not to do accents. Yeah. <laughs> when did we agree this I don't know. Time? I feel like that's just a general rule that we have out in the universe. In the institution that none of, us of should distractible with the bylaws. <laughs> yeah. One of our enshrined institutional <laughs> North Stars is that you shouldn't do accents because don't do that. Yeah, you're right. You're right. What was I thinking? What's my punishment? Nipples. Titties. Areolas. Milky milk holders. Milky, 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 milky. Grumbellas. <laughs> Grumblers. Gremlins. Grumbombalos. Bouncy bouncy smoothers. Slam bambalahoos. Fleep sacks. Fleep sacks. <laughs> trying, trying to make new ones. I don't know. I don't want to play anymore. <laughs>
<laughs> Scrambalones. Shrambambalas. Mom identifiers. <laughs> Mom identifiers. <laughs> I don't think that's. I don't think that's right. Is that not how you greet your mom? Ah, uh, oh, mom, your tits are looking marvelous today. A, a honk of greeting just to confirm it is who you think it is. Hey, what's the big eye? Oh, I didn't realize you were a mom. <laughs> Excuse me. I can tell by the size of your bombalos. You're a mom, aren't you? <laughs> You're a mom and a half. <laughs> yeah, my God, this is horrible. This is horrible. <laughs> I'm deducting points. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, we're not even doing a thing yet. Hey, come on, calm down. I That's, don't know. It's, don't know. Will, Take that, Bob. it's in Will's hands now. <laughs> There's no prologues in this podcast. This is <laughs> I have a problem. Okay. I have some concerns. Okay. Oh, should, I, should I mute the recording for this? Is this private? No, no. This, this is in regards to the topic revolving around Christmas. Mm -hmm. I've heard reports uh, from around the neighborhood, concerned parents, frightened children. Get rid of the kids. Solve the problem. That there is there's apparently an old man keeping tabs on all the kids. In your neighborhood? You guys heard about this? In my neighborhood, <laughs> in your neighborhood, uh -huh. apparently everywhere. Uh -huh. I don't know if it's a network of old men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's supposedly incredibly fat, so I don't think he's running around all over the place. Must have cameras or I don't know what. This guy, mm -hmm. he keeps a running tally of everything that kids do and then like scores them good or bad naughty yeah is he part of a uh, omn the good old men network i guess okay yeah maybe yeah I've, i can start getting letters for that i'm getting up to that age i've heard of this guy too and mm -hmm. i i've actually heard he's not slow i've heard he's very fast well, that's even creepier and you know he doesn't just keep tabs on people he watches them when they're sleeping well, how does he know when they're sleeping he just knows okay okay usually i mean he probably like cameras bets on night you know people usually sleep at night you're gonna beat the odds if you to bet someone's asleep at night, you know? Oh, I don't know if that counts as knowing then. Like, if I appear in your window at 3 a.m., yeah, you're probably sleeping. I didn't know that. No, no, no. The thing is, he's always watching. That's what you were saying, but you have to sleep at some point. So he knows when you're sleeping if he's watching you. He knows the moment you fall asleep. It's just messed up. I feel like everyone's bought into this. He has fans mm -hmm. that, that cheer for his arrival. Mm -hmm. There's a parade on Thanksgiving that it's basically in his honor. Mm -hmm. And listeners, I'm sure you've already got there. Yes, I'm talking about the Santa Claus. Jolly old St. Nicholas. Right. Jolly because he's creeping on everybody. Because he's watching. And also, I just want to know, at what age does he stop watching? Because I can be pretty childish, but I don't want this old guy checking me out in my sleep. Makes me really uncomfortable uh, to sleep in the nude, which is my preferred way to sleep. Does he know when we're having sex? Oh, yeah. Is that good or bad? I don't even know how he's... How does he score that? He has a naughty list. Ugh. He's got a naughty list. So why is it sometimes good to be naughty, but for Santa, it's bad to be naughty? When is it good to be naughty? I don't know, all those advertisements for, like, lingerie and stuff. Like, oh, get on the naughty list this year. Yeah, like if you do something and 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 someone looks at you and you're like, oh, naughty boy. <laughs> that was good naughty, right? That, no, that doesn't seem good. If I did that to you, Mark, wouldn't you be excited? No, no, if no. I If I took my hand and slowly brushed it up your thigh and I leaned in so my untrimmed mustache whiskers tickled your earlobe and I was just like, oh, you naughty boy. You know, wouldn't you be excited about that? I feel like I'm getting a little bit of it right now and I don't feel very excited. Fear. Fear is what I'm starting to feel. My heavy shoe scrapes the back of your calf because I'm trying to be delicate, but I'm not. The smell of uh, monster energy and, and Takis on my breath. Okay, wait, whoa, now we're talking here. Wait. The blue ones. My fingers oh, are blue too. No, 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 no. <laughs> and for some reason, my tongue is real blue under my shirt, which you'll learn later. I can only imagine the situation in which your tongue would also be covered in Taki's dust. That's the good kind of naughty, Mark. There, it, clearly, it exists. Everyone's on the same page, I think now. Okay, all right. Can you use it in a sentence? Another sentence other than the one that you used it in before. <laughs> I mean, I feel like that was a pretty good sentence. But, I want um, another one. Uh, did you see how? Mark's cheeks got really flushed when Bob caressed him. That was naughty. 
So I feel like those are two separate sentences, but whatever. Well, it's like a it's like a semicolon. <laughs> I've got one for you too. Naughty or nice. Those are the options. There's a sentence for you. All right. Okay. I feel better about that sentence than the. I'm, I'm actually my brain is currently purging what, what Bob was saying in the past <laughs> few minutes. So I'm resetting down into a mental state. Oh, it'll come back around. Don't worry. I got stuck on his unbright bristled mustache. Yeah, untrimmed mustache cares against my earlobe. That's hot. Ladies love a mustache. I still can't get over why the Taki's dust is on your stomach. Yeah, well, don't you want to know? Don't you want to hang out and find out? I guess, yeah, man. <laughs> Look, my point is, the concept of Santa is weird. What defines an institution? institution? What's an instant tuition? I did not say institutions. Society organized, founded for a religious, educational, social, or similar purpose. Similar. Similar. S similar. <laughs> We're similar to those. Markiplier hates meager mutts. Vote Wade today. Wow, you what are you calling him? Man, that's so rude. I'm gonna take the sound bite of you just <laughs> like uh hate meager mutts. This is what my <laughs> opponent has said about your dog. Well now I can take it from you saying it too. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What are we all saying? Meager mutts? I heard it. I heard Wade. You said me saying. You know, it'll be me saying meager mutts. <gasps> Can't believe it. <laughs> now I can get you saying me saying me. <laughs> you have me and me do me you. <laughs> and what did my opponent say at his last rally? Me saying meager mutts. <laughs> See, he hates you, meager mutts. Me said it. Me is him in this context. Mm -hmm. He said me, which means mm, him, not me. Me ask me something. <laughs> well, if you're tired of all these political ads, why don't you come down to Wadio's and get you a nice crup of pizza? <laughs> it's a callback. It makes your water taste good. <laughs> Ew. Oh. God, I hate that. Crusty <laughs> man. Are you having a nice morning? <laughs> you know who can ruin that? The crusty man. What do you want to blink your eye? Crust. And as always, no. I'll see no, you no. in the next podcast. <laughs> no, 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 no. Bye bye. <laughs> no podcast. Out. Oops. God, that's muscle memory. Good save. Good save. Oh, uh, for those of you listening, earmuffs here real quick. Um, well, there's Michael, there's Stevie, there's that fucking guy at the counter at the, the deli. There's, um... The deli? What is this, a 90s sitcom? <laughs> Do you not have a deli? There's Wanda at the dry cleaners. <laughs> what, do you juice your meats? Man, she just can't stop talking about her phone rings off the hook. <laughs> and she's like, I only wish the phone cord was long enough for me to take calls in the bath. Oh my God. I can't cut all this out. She would be so embarrassed. <laughs> Look, you may be comfortable talking about Molly, but I will not slander Amy on this podcast. Amy farts. You heard it first. Mark Plyer, 2022. Amy farts. <laughs> no, Amy does not fart. That's the thing. Oh, so she's not human. Amy should fart. That's what I'm saying. And I'm so glad we're not talking Mark's about this. Mark's New Year's resolution is to get Amy to fart. Yeah. <laughs> Got okay. it. Okay. I'm glad you finally found your resolution then. <laughs> It's big... your resolution. I'm, gonna, I'm finding it for you. I have resolutions. You don't have one. This is your resolution. You take it, man. My resolution uh, is to give you this resolution. The honor is yours. I was going to say, I'll give you three points if you take that resolution. I take it. I'll take it. All right. Three points. I had a flight that I thought I was going to die on for purely comedic reasons. Bob's the new host. We're going to call this episode Bob's Flight. <laughs> While pooping until it excretes sweets. Send me a list of pop culture things you like. Oh, lots of them. Thanks, man. Funny one, funny stuff. Great, good, good ones. You know, that's pretty specific, right? All right, search for not Wade. Oh, I tell you, you're funny, babe. <laughs> Just move on. How large a sample size do you need for statistical significance? Three. Oh well, there's probably other issues that invalidate nah, nah, the statistics. It must statistical be three. That's what I heard. Oh, okay. Wait, statistics? I thought those were a myth. I don't like tectonic plates. Those aren't real. <laughs> you guys should check out Distractable. That was very effective promotion. I have a feeling they are did. <laughs> I didn't realize this was going to be so heated. I have to be honest. I thought... How dare you. Whoa. Whoa. Hey. <laughs> Take it down a notch. Yeah, calm down. That's, there, oh. that's fighting words. How dare you. There you go. Perfect. Perfectly boring sounding. We're all going to die. We're all dust in the wind. And the wind is the fart of a god on the in the in the face of a different god. Though it's insignificant. <laughs> what? It's a perfect capstone to this episode. Uh that yeah, that sums it up. What are we talking about? You guys, we we've all had friends 
<laughs> yeah, 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 you got me, yeah. All right, good. We're on the same page. I have a, uh, what's it called? A, one of those knife pitchers that... Do makes... you mean a blender? That's it, thank you. What? <laughs> knife pitcher? I mean, like... <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little scared that I knew exactly what you meant. Oh my god. You're fluent in way to knees. <laughs> Uh, something else. Uh, there's another name for the second step, which is like, wow, something. <laughs> Thank you. This is illuminating. <laughs> cool. cool. Also, Bob, I did not mean to interrupt your story that you were telling or starting to tell. No, that's fine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's okay. My first impulse was like, I think there's a Batman villain that kind of sounds like what I imagine a penguin to sound like. And I was like, wait, the Riddler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Riddler. <laughs> Mr. Freeze? Ah, it's me, the Riddler! It's going to be a cold winter. I still meet you. <laughs> I told him to chill out. <laughs> you can do that at any time. Right now we gotta deal with this prick. Uh, so... <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Not you, Wade. Points to Mark for being the only one who actually submitted a voice to the animal. Oh, I didn't know we were done with the <laughs> round! Like, Triple <laughs> points to Wade for focusing on insulting his opponent. Oh. That's the true path to victory, Wade. Excellent work. <gasps> Thank you. First one to buzz in and answer correctly gets a point. Buzz. Me. Me. Buzz. Me. Buzz. <laughs> me. <laughs> I'm sorry, do you not like that one? I'll, I'll, I'll try something else. I really didn't know you guys were pressing buttons there. I did not know that. Uh, me, 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 me. Uh, I think I've mentioned before. I was like, who is that? It's your baby. I know, I've met. We have a baby. His name is James. You definitely met him a few times. I win? If I don't win, don't say it yet. Uh, I would, I would like some more points. I'll give you one more. Uh, any more? You got any extras? You dump any change out of your pocket? Nah. Half a point? Uh, you know, we could always share them if he has any points with benefits. I don't. I don't have- they're all mine. They're all very loyal points. So stop being poor like Paris Hilton tried to tell you and have <laughs> multiple drives. <laughs> the truth was out there years ago! Remember when she stood with her stop being poor shirt? She was telling you! Right. <laughs> <laughs> and that, I think that succinctly concludes what I'm trying to get at here is you, you just, you dumbasses out there, if you can't afford to blow the kind of cash I can on stupid crap, it's not getting scammed if you're rich because yeah. you could have afforded to lose it. And that's the point I'm trying to make. You're like, oh, they're so hard on him. Wade's the smartest one in the group. Wade's all philosophical and deep. The other guy's just like, Dick jokes. You're not wrong. But also, can you we acknowledge that sometimes Wade doesn't know things that are shockingly common knowledge, even though he knows very specific and detailed and in-depth things about philosophy, law, whatever. Like, I'm not saying I don't even I'm not even saying I don't have gaps. I'm just saying I think it's fair to make fun of him sometimes. And not knowing what a waxing moon is feels like one of those times. My knowledge is like a heartbeat. It's forever going, and occasionally it spikes where there's knowledge, then there's some down periods, then there's some knowledge. I know a little about a lot, and I know nothing about a lot. See, now you're learning the tactics, Wade. It's only been three years of this. Well, now that I'm not phoning it in, you guys are getting my C game, which is the highest grade I give. My God, if, if Wade actually tried at this podcast, think of where we'd be. <laughs> Imagine. It's gonna be really awkward if you choose one of us and Amy's also with. <laughs> <laughs> you meet you meet me at LAX and, and Amy's like, why is Bob here? And you're like, oh, well, he just flew out here to fly back with us so he could use my diamond guest pass status. Amy's like, but I was gonna, no, no, go to the gate. Try winning an episode, nerd. I don't recall you winning an episode of a prestigious <laughs> podcast. Adrian, get my carrot. You thought I was going to race when I'm just going to be pulling. That's how winning's done. Um, but now nah, I think I got to give the point very narrowly to Wade on that one. Wow, I'm shocked. <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely am. I don't know if I feel good. Or bad, that might be the biggest laugh I've ever gotten out of both of you at the same time. Man, get ready for that to be quoted for a very long time. And I'm buzzed. <laughs> Give me the content. Um, you go to a museum, it's like, I want your buzz content. Give me your content. <laughs> what kind of content you got here? <laughs>
Uh, well, sir, we, we actually do have the Picasso exhibit on right now. Is that good content? <laughs> <laughs> this is drama. What kind of what kind of what kind of horrible things have you done? I can't I can't enjoy a content creator like Picasso unless I know I know their history. <laughs> yeah, a content creator, <laughs> dude. Da Vinci is my favorite content creator. <laughs> God, Italian content creators knew what's up, man. Freaking dang, you know. Chain didn't d did. <laughs> oh, thank God, Mark's got the AI back to help him. <laughs> <laughs> now he's now he's absolutely cooking up rhymes. All right, so how fucked am I right oh, now? Oh yes, yes I do. One second, I have to poo. <laughs> hey, wait, I was having so much fun this whole time I didn't realize I could lose. <laughs> That's right, you managed. I toss and turn in bed, so I would maybe not go to sleep a cannoli, but I feel like I would wake up a cannoli. You gotta be careful. You're gonna wake up a cannoli. You toss and turn while you sleep. You gotta be careful. You watch out. You you wake up a cannoli. You never know what's gonna happen. Hey, uh, you better watch out. You know you. One thing leads to another, you might wake up a cannoli, you know? Would be a shame if uh, maybe maybe you woke up a cannoli tomorrow, eh? <laughs> you know, Timmy Tutos, he loves cannolis. You gotta watch out. This is horrifying. Uh, Wade, when you turn your brain on, you just know so much. I get why you don't need to learn anything. You already know it all. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bunch of people sitting in central Jersey right now who are like, finally, somebody gets it. That's what we've been telling everyone. Wait, they don't have the accent anymore? <laughs> no, they're in central Jersey, so they don't have either the north or the south accent. I'm from central Jersey. I'm sure about that. And I pronounce the words sure and sure differently. And I bang Maryland on the slide. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Marilyn's boyfriend. I assume Rhode Island or something. <laughs> oh, Zeus. Okay, all right. We're called the Rhode Island Romances. Is that, that's the, Ro the Rhode Island accent. It's stunningly similar to the Jersey accent. Well, only the Romancers. That's the oh, wherever okay. Rhode Island is, the New Jersey side. Anyone who lives in the Northeast of America, I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm just generally real sorry about all of this. I just want to put that out there. Especially if you live in Jersey, but generally that whole area, sorry. I would also like to point out that Rhode Island is not connected in any way to New Jersey. Sorry, I meant um, Vermont. Did you? <laughs> Hold on, can I look at a map of the US? <laughs> Hang on, no, I know this. Uh, I meant, uh, uh, wait, uh, I meant the District of Columbia. That doesn't touch that one. Rhode Island is a bit of a hike from New Jersey. Yeah, it's Delaware. Yeah, I meant Delaware, that's what I meant. Which, honestly, and no offense to anyone in Delaware, I forgot Delaware was a state. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Not gonna lie, does Delaware stop New Jersey from even touching Maryland? Oh, it doesn't stop it, if you know what I mean. All right, I'll, all right, nothing. I, <laughs> I, I, did, I thought you were gonna keep going. I, I thought you were about to be on a roll. I don't know. No, 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 it's fine. A hoagie roll, am I right? <laughs> Fellow Southern Jerseyer. I'm sorry, I'm a Central Jerseyan. I'm a Central New Jersey man. Hmm. I have a friend who has a baby. Not that you're not my friend. I have another okay. friend who has a baby. <laughs> No, I see where you're coming from. <laughs> Tell us about your real friend. After the plumber or whoever was working on it went home, you just <laughs> stared in the darkness looking at the hole in the ceiling and you're like, I know they're screwing me. They can't fool me. And then you just like rip into it, <laughs> just frothing at the mouth. Like, I know they're hiding from them. They're ripping me off. I looked up at the leak. I saw a bullet sized hole and I thought to myself, I know what'll plug you up. And I shot it with a bullet. <laughs> <laughs> you can't fool me. I know what goes in that hole. Ah, uh, yeah, that hole, that's a 357 hole if I ever saw one. <laughs> Dude, what an exciting industry that would be. Many as your imagination desires. Six. Seven. Oh. <laughs> 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 That's just the right amount. Six or seven? No, you're right. You're right. Seven. You're right. It should be seven. I should have. I should have thought of that. And uh, I'm in no way like an expert at these things, but I have learned things, Wade. I have avoided knowledge like the plague. You really know, do. Yeah. It's almost impressive how little you've managed to learn. You can learn to rock climb 
or you can just drive to Everest and start walking. That's what I say. And here I am halfway up the mountain, flailing my arms and screaming help. But you know I'm here. I thought you were just going to say you could have someone drive you to the top of the mountain, because I think that's a more accurate. <laughs> you could learn to rock climb, or you could hitch a ride in someone else's truck to the top. You can just deliver yourself to the mountain by calling a cab. Mm. Look. I just want to say, for that not being a defense of your actions, Mark, you've done it very defensive, and I'm proud of you. <laughs> and like The Sims, it's kind of a quantity thing if you before your sim eventually burns the whole shit down. You know, fuck, maybe it was me just because I'm turning the or appliances if I off. have to cook one time and I don't have my experience built up, the first time I do it, it Real goes, life isn't The Sims. You just compared- you made the comparison! <laughs> 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 it's, I can't argue with this man. It's like in The Sims. It's like, what if I did that too much? <laughs> it's, not, it's not The Sims, though. Stupid. It's only The Sims when it backs up my point, <laughs> stupid. By instinct, I'm trying to gaslight you. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's why around my friends to make them feel tall, I've actually been slouching this whole time. <laughs> You've been wearing the opposite of lifts in your shoes. You've been wearing sinks. <laughs> <laughs> You actually had special shoes invented that have little black holes in the bottom that allow you to shorten yourself by up to eight inches. He's got the shoes of holding. People always thought that my calves were just naturally big. I actually bent my knees backwards, <laughs> very <laughs> flexible, and then I duct tape them to the back of my knees. Really, really strong. That's why your feet can go in 360 degrees. You cut off half your leg. Exactly. People thought it was a trick. I just have two strings that I pull. But <laughs> look at me. Your legs unfold. <laughs> yeah, God help you if I unfurl for the first time. Mark's actually seven foot two. <laughs> <laughs> but he's all leg. <laughs> <laughs> God. It, it is like people that get leg lengthening surgery. You know, they're just like, their torso is the same, but their legs grow long. So just... Like, my God, my head's at Mark's dick height. What a little torso <laughs> with those legs. Locks, locks down all the shades, closes all the windows up tight so no one can see in, sits down on his couch and unfurls. <laughs> Spend all day, every day, furled up. <laughs> you know how many loops I got my neck in? You don't understand. My torso normal, but neck and head. That's why you, that's why you seem so thick. <laughs> So kind of you to make Bob and I feel tall in our little- I don't furl at all! I'm always the same height! <laughs> uh, and it's just one of those No, describe where... for the listeners, Mark, what's happening right now, just- I, you, it's this experience where you're in an office- So loud! <laughs> <laughs> and then you get this phone call, right? And you don't know who's calling. And I'm like, what is this? And you've got this screen and you've got like security cameras. And- like it's a children's pizzeria, but it's not right, okay? So you got like security cameras that show these what should be fun, uh, <laughs> like adorable animatronics for uh, children, but something's wrong, right? Something's wrong. If you go to uh, camera 24B, it says, don't run, don't yell, don't scream, don't poop on the floor, stay close to mom, don't touch Freddy, don't hit, leave before dark. What's up with that? That's pretty weird. Anyway, I thought that was pretty weird, so, uh... How would you thumbnail that? Oh, man. What's a <laughs> thumbnail? <laughs> It's like a volcano is going to erupt uh, any day now, right there. Uh, so when you're swimming, you know, just be aware, you know, if there's lava and explosions, you should maybe get <laughs> undercover or get maybe get in a vehicle. If you start cooking alive in the water, get out. Oh, that is so true, bestie. That's so true. And I stand by your words, your brave, brave words. Uh, right. Oh, <laughs> you all right? Yeah, I was trying to be hip. I think I just stole British English for a minute. I don't even know what you said. Righto, chaps. Ah, Cheerio. Okay, all right. Pip, pip. Uh, for having real problems, point to Mark for that one. What? Yes! Wait, what for having real problems? <laughs> <laughs> it's just not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you know, come on, you know what I meant. Wait, hey. Some truths uh, are coming out today. <laughs> uh. <laughs> 
actually, actually, I don't, I don't think we realize how bad it probably would hurt to get hit with a dildo shot at high speed. Given that I got hit in the eye with a pickle and almost went blind, I'm pretty sure a dildo <laughs> would wreak devastation. Oh, you think a cannonball dildo would hurt? I think, I think, if anything, Bob's idea of a bad dragon dildo would probably be more devastating because I'm pretty sure some of those have spikes on them. No, yeah, no, those would not be good shapes to be. I was thinking throwing them you know, with your arm like dodgeball, how dodgeball is, because you said dodgeball. But like, what you described has nothing to do with dodgeball. I can go swimming in my pool and I'll swim and me, a 34 year old adult man can be swimming and in an instant, I'll be like, I think a shark got in this pool. I gotta get out of here. And I'll be clambering over the sides as fast as I can. It doesn't matter the logic. It's, I think a shark snuck in. In the instant that I got in the pool, I checked and I looked around, a door opened in the bottom and went and a shark flew into the pool because that's what they do they fly they fly in and i'm dead uh -huh. and if i don't get out in two seconds i'm eaten was i wanted to talk about like to clarify some things and this isn't this isn't necessarily to like clear my name or or get people back on my side or anything like that oh here we go kind of sounds like it's both of those but okay no i want but the thing is like all these burger the way they prepare their booger bur boogers <laughs> 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 Never mind. Uh, uh, <laughs> Wait, what was your point? A tape measure, Wade. <laughs> I was just wondering. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you some comp. Mark's light turned off, non-watchers. He didn't just get his scrotum gently grabbed by an invisible monster. His light turned off. That may or may not have happened at the same time. You will not be charged with a crime for burning your own property unless you do so with the intent to defraud or the fire injured another person or another individual's property. I know things. I have a whole sheet of paper that says I know things. So you just get a bunch of sprinkler systems, put them around your house, then light that fucker up and watch it go. Yeah, well, I don't want to burn my whole house down. The rest of it's fine. I just, just this room. Put the sprinklers in the rooms you want to save. Oh, okay. <laughs> Water damage can be fixed. Take it from me. I'm the drowned man. What are, what are you fighting, Mark? Weirdly enough, it's mostly legal in most places. However, in Texas, it might be illegal <laughs> under any circumstances, which doesn't sound very freedom to me. But you can shoot your house down. In <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can't burn it down, but you can contract an AC-130 to come blast it into bits with a 30 mil cannon. Oh, you thought you would live. Oh yeah, I was optimistic about my chances. <laughs> if the hot spring you were in erupted in lava, you thought you'd be fine. That's good. Uh, Mark, what's your next animal? Oh, we cut. I do. I mean, if you if you don't want to, that's fine. I can keep going. <laughs> what, was, what did you just say? We call. I do. The animal is receiving of the sh the mark mark guess shape. Yep. You know what I'm referencing. Oh, yeah. Everybody knows. Oh, yeah. The frog is receiving of the vocals. <laughs> I believe choir boys traditionally are part of the church, Wade. And where do you send orphans? Church to find Jesus. Uh, <laughs> That'll teach him for being an orphan. They need a father of some kind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. One third of a full uh, point of legal advice. Oh, I can't offer any. No, that's super illegal. I don't offer any legal advice. But if we offer less than half of legal advice, I think mm -mm. it's... <laughs> no, that's actually... What about illegal advice? I could offer illegal advice. I'm pretty sure that's illegal, but <laughs> I could do that. Wait, is I'm shaking and crying right now a parallel to shitting and coming right now? Is that why that people say that so much? A parallel? <laughs> Uh, well, I, I can't correlate or causate those. That was like the most common comment forever was, I'm shaking and crying right now. It was everywhere. I, don't, I never knew why. No, I'm shaking and crying RN. Mm. Registered nurse? It's because I, I made a bit out of it in a video. Uh, so people probably brought it in. It was like this game where it was a horror game where it looked like someone was streaming and you could type in chat to make them go to the sink or go to the toilet. And I, I just kept typing, I'm shaking and crying RN. And people really like that. Oh. So, so you brought that up. Spillover. That was yeah, yours. Yeah, yeah. Spillover from your BS. Oh, thanks, yeah. Mark. You're welcome. Happy to help. I don't think this is very my freedom. If I want to burn down my house, I can. Sharpness is based on movement. Well, actually. 
that's impressively you're not entirely wrong somehow on that and i can't i can't even explain why but i'm with you big orgy i think or after death (laughs) it's one big orgy (laughs) (laughs) well it's quarter past marriage y'all want to fuck uh so yeah i i don't know uh anything goes after the afterlife till marriage do us part i remember when molly and i had to say that (laughs) yeah it's a weird it's a weird institution you build up to it you plan a whole thing the moment you're married Boom, orgy. <laughs> Means almost nothing. I guess you really want to reconsider the guest list. Oh, that trick's easy. You just got to make sure the breaker's off, and then what are you going to do? Yeah, but it can zap you. <laughs> just make sure the breaks, breaker's off, start gnawing the wires, <laughs> just up a notch bows in there it's good well you've only got two hands and sometimes there's like six wires like what do you hold it with you know you have your helper go kink the electric wire coming (laughs) in the side of the house and that'll stop the flow of electrons and then you just work real quick on whatever light fixture you're trying to replace look i appreciate you calling molly my kinky helper but uh holding electric wires is not something that we've done together especially what you're describing where you're like essentially tortured to death yes exactly that really hurts, Mark. Uh, maybe you're just curious to see if your body can handle it. It's or... that, that. I know my body can handle it. And you might be saying, wait, Santa's in the North Pole. But you know, he's been getting doxxed for like hundreds of years. So he had to move. Dude, Santa Santa is a, is a red flag. <laughs> is a false flag. That we haven't talked about very much, but it is one of our favorite topics. Conspiracy theories. Oh, thanks, Obama. Is that a theory? Never mind, I did it wrong. Is that a theory? That's just a theory! Obama theory! I don't know if that's right, but two points for that. Prioritize mental fitness and train my mind at home. That's my workout routine. All right, you're making fun of it, but that was the one I was gonna, I was gonna pick. Man. Never mind, why. sorry. No, you love it. I'm 72 weirdest animals on earth. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a close one. Bob wins I by protest. probably about 1,500 points. I protest this. Yeah, exercise your rights, Mark. I believe in you. What's my rights? Someone make me a thumbnail of Mark protesting this with circles, arrows, and question marks. I can't believe this. I'm... Oh. Bob, winner speech? Can I just say something? I know you might be disappointed in, in how it all went down. I am and I'm not at the same time. But... but uh, I do feel like this episode, if we're going to look at this for the bigger picture, this episode is pretty weird. And so really, Mark, I think, got your episode to exactly where it needed to be. And I got I was playing off of Mark, but I think Mark was really the spearhead on that one. So he may have lost the competition, but I, I got to give props to the loser for uh, really driving the bus today and really making sure that we didn't miss any stops. I should have just made you both lose is what I should have done. <laughs> you probably have that power. No, I've got I've got someone to ream and you know how I feel about reaming someone. I know how a lot of people feel about being reamed by you too, so let's hear it. I feel really good about the reamage. Mark Wahlberg in the reamening. Oh, hey, what's up? Hey, how's it going, man? Oh, and you? Also. Do you guys agree on a bit or something? Or is this... <laughs> oh, Mark. Disappear for like three days, come back, and we're the weird ones? Okay. I was gone for more than three days, but... Oh. Oh, well, well. What in God's name? You know what, TV? Off with you. If you're not watching the video, you'll have no idea what's happening, but my TV's off now. As, uh, this is has the most mysterious energy of any episode intro I've it ever... It ties into the end of the previous episode. No, it doesn't. There's one in between those. Ah, it's all ruined. Share it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not that crazy. Calm down, Grandma. I swear, when we were talking about, like, the sex dolls back in the Three Peens days, we definitely have conversed about this. One of these is literally a werewolf paw. What? <laughs> Any shape you might imagine you would want for sexual toy purposes, they probably have it. That's like the thing. The fifth row down is something called David's Paw that's just a werewolf paw with claws. It's been a while since I have browsed. <laughs> are we all are we all gonna get on Bad Dragon now? Is that what's happening? That's a turtle's head with a long tongue. Oh, 
Oh, it's so festive. <laughs> oh, it is festive. Wow. Wow, they have sweaters. Why are you seeing sweat? Where? What page am I on where there's not sweaters? There's a the the banner at the very top. The first one is is holiday sweaters. You were so eager, you missed out. The website I clicked on was slash shop, so it went straight to dildos. I'm not at the home page. I, uh. I got to skip the home page. Oh, hey, there's the home page. There's a keychain. It's a keychain. It's when you need to, you know. Drag it on the go. That's what that is, right? Is that the Mandy will kill me if I got that wrong? That's the no, symbol. you're. I, well, now I'm questioning it. Like the stakes weren't really that high, and now they feel like they're high. Oh, Actually, she, she can kill me. We're married. That's allowed. It's like I I'm having a hard time envisioning it. Can you do a, a real to yeah, life a real demonstration? Yeah, let me drop trial right now. All right, everyone, go to Spotify right now. <laughs> <laughs> there are so many people watch an episode ever. How are you today, Win? Oh, I'm doing well. Finally getting over that illness. Yeah, you sound less sick. That's pretty good. Still a little bit of that congestion left. I won't describe the horrible snot strands. I'll save you the, the description, but it's- The snot cramps, did I hear? No. Snot cramps? You got snam stowed? I, no, it's, <laughs> no. Though I will say like, you know, the throat and nose do get pretty raw when you're constantly blowing your nose. Specifically. <laughs> right. That was an accident. Like you didn't know. Uh, also, Bob points. <laughs> so listen hey folks that's all we have time for today on the curious conspiracy corner we've explored some wild theories some wacky ideas maybe even ventured a bit too close to the edge of absurdity <laughs> Uh, remember, conspiracy theories are meant for entertainment purposes, not for taking seriously, so please don't go accusing anyone of secret syndicates or, or government activity or anything without any evidence, which we did not present any today, because this was just for jokes and stuff. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't get any breakfast this morning. <laughs> <laughs> this kind of sounds like if Chica was a FNAF animatronic. <laughs> I don't know, it's just the, like I closed my eyes and what I pictured was like an animatronic moving around. What animatronic would you think Chica would be? Oh, man. Maybe the one named Chica? No, what? Well, no, not the bird. A different yeah. one. A dog in Your dog is a bird named Chica. She's got the soul of a children in her or something. <laughs> I'm not sure on the lore. <laughs> I'm going to go with the voice of Jessica Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Can you give us a sampling in case I don't have that one locked and loaded? Oh, yeah, I could. <laughs> just just get, give us a facsimile of it. Yeah, um, uh... <laughs> huh? You know, Jessica Rabbit. It's me, Jessica Rabbit. No, oh, I hear it now, I hear it, yeah. I love my husband, Rabbit, what was his name? Roger Rabbit? Roger, I love Roger. He didn't do it. It's like Jessica's here in the room. Isn't she like a, I'ma show you all a good time. I, I think I was closer, yeah. I'll show you all a good time. I, I, you know what? I could, I, Bob, I, I can't compete with that. I gotta give it to him. Uh, you don't even want to fight? Uh, no, how can I compete with that perfect Jessica Rabbit? No, uh, you can't. Bob! No, not Bob. <laughs> Sorry. I'll take a point. What? No bias Markiplier over here. Uh, Bob. Yeah, I had one prepared. I'm glad you called on me. <laughs> um, is it about to get like gross or something? Or <laughs> <laughs> holy <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> you want to see it actually work? Uh, not really. I don't really want to see it work correctly anymore. Than I've gotten to watch eye surgeries. There we go. <laughs> I don't like that much better. That needle is way too long to do whatever they're talking about. No, thanks. No, none of that. I'm good. Thank you. No, thank you. No. Really? Whatever. All right. Okay. So we're going to be calling this audibly, of course, for all of our <laughs> listeners out there. Not <laughs> That's an actual service. That's a, Never, that's a company. That, 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 Audio that. only listeners. For our uh, oral listeners. Our oral listeners. For our anal listeners. <laughs> No, keep laughing. No, keep laughing. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny to me. <laughs> not, not even a whole sentence. You just wanted to get the word anal out so you could laugh and at And for it. our urethral listeners, we have a catheter-only podcast. Ooh, mm. straight to the blad. <laughs> Right where you want Distractable to be. <laughs> God, I, I hope we get a Sonos ad read again so we can talk about pumping sound straight to the blad. <laughs> How many Sonos, Ray, can you shove up your... <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh, they're definitely going to walk back in on this now. Sonos, please come back. It's been so long. Call me. Hands. I, I don't I, I don't know. Tick I don't understand. Tock, tick tock. There goes the clock. Yeah, I mean, cut me off at some point. Jesus Christ. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's taking the hint. Time? <laughs> Why did you have me look at my hands? I don't, I don't know. wear a him, watch. Man. It's a hint. That was a misleading hint. <laughs> so I didn't hear the other part of the rhyme there. All right. It's it's time then is what this is. Yes. It's a clock. Wow, I just actually randomly got that correct you, because of You got it right <laughs> with absolutely no way of feeling like you should. <laughs> Look at your hands. I'm over here like, what if you took That's why five? I said 9 plus 12 equals 9 cuz you get right back to 9 again and it'll never be 13. So it only goes watch. To 12. There's so many options. You Sasquatch. You were thinking Pocket watch? Anything, the wrist or hand, hands on a clock, the answer stands. It was pretty obvious from where I see. I can't help it that you don't be. Oh, God. Oh, I got, excuse me. I got sent the answer in a text message. And then while you were struggling to solve the riddle, I was like, <laughs> I already know. I only exist here to help. Uh -huh. I can't do it if you yelp. A good boat. I heard that's the best boat. Unsinkable, they said. Dude, I could, I could totally go around to like different passages and be like, spoiler alert, but guess what's coming? What? <laughs> you wouldn't save it? You wouldn't do anything to avert the crisis? <laughs> I would get on the boat first. We've been through what I would do on the, <laughs> find one of the emergency boats. I'd be on that the whole time. They'd be like, what are you doing? I'd be like, oh, just pretending. <laughs> they recently recovered a watertight container from the wreckage of the Titanic containing journals from a, a family, a wealthy family that was on board they, the journals are filled with accounts of a crazy man everyone called wade <laughs> running around the boat screaming where's leonardo dicaprio where's leo get more doors rip these doors down when do we get to the part with the string quartet playing i love that song Birch. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. People that are just joining the podcast today, they're going to get lawyer jokes, law jokes, <laughs> immature sex jokes, and that's it. That's a pretty good demonstration of our podcast, honestly. <laughs> no, I, I've seen I've seen this picture in this fish before. I think I've tried to make a thumbnail out of it and didn't quite work. Um, yeah, it's... <laughs> it's, it's what do you mean? What? Why is that funny? No, nothing. Go on. What's wrong? You silly bitch making thumbnails. FNAF 7. This is what I looked like by the time I was done. What are you trying to imply? What are you implying? <laughs> YouTube thumbnails, man. What is wrong with my <laughs> thumbnails? <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? What did I walk into today? <laughs> I don't know. I take great pride in my thumbnails and the quality that they exude. And just because I, this was probably for a Subnautica series, why are you bringing Five Nights of... Listen, you piece of shit. I'm here to confront you about what the hell you're trying to apply. You better explain yourself right quick or else we're going to have a problem. I don't know why you took it so personal. I just said thumbnails in general, my dude. But No, that is not what you said. You said you? some FNAF thing as if the, all, the only thing I do is FNAF. Well, that's not true. Well, that's what I think of. When you think of my what? thumbnails, of my vast array of high quality thumbnails that I've made over the years. You've never really done the circles arrows, have you? Like even in a meme, have you ever done a thumbnail with those? Oh God, yeah, I've done that. I've done all varieties of it, but usually in a mocking fashion. That's what I mean, like in a mocking fashion, but there are a lot of them that are like dead serious, the circles, the question marks and all that stuff. That's what I think of when I think of like a YouTube thumbnail is that kind of stuff. But this fish, I do not think of a YouTube thumbnail for. My thumbnails go so beyond, beyond what, it's so meta and beyond meta. It's I'm gonna a, take a note, if I ever wanna touch a nerve, Mark's thumbnails. My thumbnails are incredible and <laughs> I am a very good at making them and i can i can i can meme with the best of them i can i can i can reach deep into the the analyses of human psychology and the nature of the universe with them and i can i can make the simplest thing pop like you wouldn't even believe 
I've seen how you make thumbnails before and you were so good and so quick with it. Yeah, there we go. That's what I want to hear. That you've had the same quality of thumbnail for a long time. You've had a really high quality thumbnail, but with all the AI stuff recently, I've seen people blend like, have you seen Mark's thumbnail? This is clearly AI and it's something from like 2018 or something. And it's like, oh, I saw that post. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like all the work and crap that I put into thumbnails. And then like you, you take one and it's just like, oh, this is a shamble, a shamble. And I'm just like, but. I put a lot of work into my thumbnail. Sometimes I don't. Look how exaggerated this is. It's clearly AI. Meanwhile, mm. you're using like the weird tool to zoom in and like move the teeth. <laughs> yeah, we would liquefy my... <laughs> yeah, and they're like, AI must have done this. Humans can't do this kind of editing. I'm not saying that I have never done that because there's definitely been times when I like mid journey has, has popped out an image and I've just been like, ooh, that's interesting to use. But I always modify it. It is an extremely rare scenario that I I would ever just take something that I found and pop it up without ever having any kind of further to it. But I get that AI imagery is a hot button topic at this point anyway. But also I use a lot of stock photos <laughs> and I feel like that's the more egregious thing is that I just use the most basic bitch business suit ass with a tie and everything stock photos for my site. I love using a good old fashioned stock photo. I've edited out some some iPhoto watermarks before <laughs> I've, I've turned out some dream time things. The admissions of Markiplier. Maybe I should change the topic for the day. I I've done some unsavory things before with my thumbnails, and that I'll readily admit. But I will not be called out for shit that I haven't done. I won't be called out for it. I'll admit my crimes, I'll admit in front of court. Uh, How dare you? This, so, so you're saying if you're ever arrested in connection to a crime, the mm. cop just has to sit you down in a room and be like, hmm. <clears throat> I hear that you let other people make the thumbnails on your YouTube videos and you'll just launch off. You'd be like, I robbed the bank and I killed the guard on the way out. It wasn't my cohorts, it was me. But I have never, I will not be judged on my thumbnails. We found it. We found the button. Markiplier's weakness, everybody. I wasn't expecting to get that out of the weird, but man, I'm glad we've gone from the weird to the sinister. 10, then that's twice as many as five, which costs at least thrice as much. That's how it all works out. That's what I have to say about that. I wasn't scammed yet, but he's open to one. <laughs> I'm looking for a scam if anyone wants to offer. Any of you chumps got some scams? It's like a way like overly egotistical overly confident male trait oh, is this just a thing all no, people do because no, there's tons of stuff where i look at like I've, let me tell you hold on i'm gonna spread my legs out and tell you about how to change a faucet hang on let me shift my massive nuts over to the other side here yeah, hold on. all right there we so go. mansplain me something i uh i took another test i am it says i'm an alpha male it was supposed to say all this stuff where's this test is it the dick measuring test? Is that what it is? Well, yeah, I've, I've been letting you guys think you got big dicks compared to me, but mine's been so furled up. <laughs> I might not be a sigma, but my penis is. <laughs> you know, you look at a tape measure, you think, oh, it's so short. Uh uh, it's furled. <laughs> That's me. That's me to a T. You just unroll it. Yeah. You don't want me to unroll. You don't want me to unfurl. No, please. No, I, I need to feel good about myself. My tiny body and tiny penis. Bob, did we answer your your objective? I feel like you did, but somehow I still feel dissatisfied. I guess that's just my omega nature. You don't even have a shadow, dude. I know, I don't I don't cast a shadow in real life either. Wait, hurry up. I did it. That was fast. Holy shit, what a sigma. <laughs> what a <goddamn laughs> sigma. All right. All right. What percentage sigma are you boys? Did you get a number? What? Can we leave I'll lead off. I I'll say what percentage sigma I am. What? Is that what yours says? Mine does not have a percentage. Mine says you're 30 percent sigma. You have some mixed traits. Sometimes you have alpha vibes, and other times you're a softy beta. But you're solid and can pull. <laughs> All right, well, Bob, what did you get? I didn't get a percentage. Mine just says you're an omega male. <laughs> you're introverted, you're a bit nerdy, and have a whole lot of talent in one awkward package. But you could clean up good. It doesn't say I'm any percent Sigma. <laughs> Guys, bow down. I am 100% Sigma. God you damn are it. too cool for school, never a pushover, always quietly confident. Keep doing you, but don't leave people too far in your rear view mirror. And it's a picture of a dude just busting out of chains. Like, 
Mine's a picture of a guy standing like this in front of a wall, <laughs> but his shadow is a big man flexing. <laughs> Mine is a picture of a frumpy, chubby dude who kind of looks like me with blonde hair holding a globe. <laughs> Does he have a shadow? He has no shadow. He doesn't cast a shadow at all. Oh, man, you were so proud of that answer, too, before... I didn't really... think all the way through. Omega is, like, the last. The alpha and the omega. The omega is the last one. Does that mean I'm the, the bottomest male that there can be? No, you clean up good. You clean up good. You may not be 100% Sigma like me. I don't know what I did. I swear, guys. Were you answering honestly, or were you just clicking? I was answering as close as I could to the answer answers I wanted. I did not pick the cradle rob answer. I want to say it very clearly. I did not pick the cradle rob one. I did not pick the cradle rob answer either. I did not either. I I chose rob a dictator. I chose euthanasia. <laughs> That's probably the Sigma, man. What'd you pick, Mark? What was the fourth one? Euthanasia. As I saw what the results are, sh are shown as, I'm like, this is the only test you need. I, I have to, I have to agree. And I can't disagree. Both and all. Yes, too. Well, who's Claude Debussy? W-C. De <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It's spelled Debussy. Right after customs, there are big signs that say like, there are no bathrooms beyond this point. Piss now or forever hold your shit. Um, and then a guy gets up to the front and has to yell. Everyone goes, there are no bathrooms after <laughs> this point. None! Shit now! Uh, the Five Nights at Freddy's one jump scare. <laughs> the, the, like, screamies. <laughs> she runs up to you, stares at you for like 10 seconds and just... <laughs> and then runs away. <laughs> really weak argument, Mark. <laughs> But wait, wait, hold on. Wait, wait we'll pull stop. one more. No, I, I've got it. Stop the vote. <laughs> it, I, I, I can't tell if he can't hear or. Look. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it was Mark's wall behind Mark's wall all the time. <laughs> For our listeners at home, Mark just frantically <laughs> set up a whole green screen. Just for it to topple over. I didn't put the legs on it. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mark, you're too late, Mark. I found one. I would like to know what this sounds like. What does it sound like? Oh, man. <laughs> hey there, everybody. <laughs> I, I think we all know this one sounds a lot like Jessica Rabbit. I want to be loved by you, everybody. player out. I don't it's think that's not... even a good impression. Hey, you, did, <laughs> you did his outro. Mickey Blair out. Mickey Blair out. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Back with another amnesia for the dark descent. Stay tuned for a reaction compilation. You know, Mark, you really have changed. I miss old Mark. That voice, that voice is way better than but, new Mark. But, but, but before you close this round, wait, fuck you. You're stupid and bald and awful at Settlers of Catan. You peaked when that series ended. I'll take that over looking like what we just saw on screen. Well, all I saw was you and it was horrifying. I'm balder than you thought. Oh, uh, that was so close, Wade. You had him on the ropes. You now hit him with the one, two. You had him on his heels. He was falling over backwards. But then Mark earned the points by accurately <laughs> quoting the subreddit. Balder than ever. Truer facts have never been spilled over. Like a, like a can overflowing with beans. Mark just... Fuck this. Until next time. See you guys! Oh, well, Mark's demon light just turned off, so that probably hurts his chances. No, watch this. Oh, neat. Yeah. Watch this. Still here. Fuck. Still here. Like using portals to jizz in other dimensions episode that we <laughs> Wait, did. Wait, we talk what about that? that? Yeah, <laughs> we talked about Sonic using using other port other portals to other dimensions to hide his jizz and also possibly go to the bathroom. People <laughs> see, people seem to be caught off guard by that one. I can't imagine why. <laughs> And no thank you for attending this episode. Yeah. No thank you to Bob and Wade for joining me on this episode. Fuck you too, man. I didn't even want to be here today. Wait, I thought we were to start. I'm, I'm on board to target the listeners. Don't, don't bring that at me. <laughs> I'm on your side, man. No, no, no. I don't want you on my side. No thank you for even trying. Well, no thank you. I am on your side. Oh, no way. No thank you. I don't need your help. I might need some help. I'm sick as could be. Wait, we, I don't even need you. You're sick. No thank you. You go home. All right.
Uh, wait, I am home. Yeah, how much more home can you go? Well, tell him, Mark. What? Is a spoon correct? No. There you have it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I also, this total side note, I hope during that time where we're having this serious discussion, Will or Sam isn't zooming in on my mouth as I'm chewing this taco. Just, I'm really oh, amplifying oh my, my sounds. Please replace, like, cover my my mouth with Wade's face uh, just in this corner here. Oh, yeah, give him these nice, like, I'm really sick rashes to put right in his mouth. And then cover my chewing noises with, like, beautiful classical music. Or put just like a really wet reverb and echo on Mark's chewing. <laughs> so it sounds like he's smacking his lips down the juiciest hallway. Gong, 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 gong. Again, total side tangent, but did you hear that? That um, t Amy showed me it. It was a TikTok of like the wettest song anyone would make. It was like, it was like frog type beeps. It was just like, blap, doop, da, blap, blap. Oh, no, yeah. That dude is sick. That, um, I forget. It's the instrument that that guy plays is called like the Ewi, like E W. WI and that's something his, his TikTok handle is something like that, like Ewe Man or Ewe Play. That the frog beats or whatever, the wettest music. It's so good. It's so funky. It's so weirdly catchy. Whereas like this is probably terrible to some people and many people, but I gotta look up this Ewe frog real quick because I don't know what the hell y'all are talking about. What is it? Like the comments were the funniest part. It's like, what are these tummy tunes here? Is it Eddie Ewe frog beat? Yes, yes, yes. Eddie Ewe. This is the man. That he's been doing that. I I first saw <laughs> Oh. That makes me feel like I need to change my underwear. <laughs> no, it's so good. So in the advent of actually, you know, crediting people that we're stealing content from. Oh my god, this instrument looks amazing. It's awesome. It's like a big, like, flat, like, fluty kind of thing, but it's like a big thing and it's got finger pads on it. You can do all kinds of he runs it through like effects pedals and he runs it through like a digital sound thing, but also you play it by blowing into it, I think. So mm -hmm. it has like an aspect of like, you know, real wind instrument performance to it. It's so cool. I think my brother had one of these on his car that he had to blow into to start his car when he got a DUI. <laughs> <laughs> it also kind of looks like a caterpillar and a flute. I think those are different things. I think those are different things. E D D I E dot E W I. Eddie Ewe. The E W I stands for Electronic Wind Instrument. It's very cool. That man has been making good music for a while, and that instrument is very cool. Highly recommend it. Anyway, I'm done eating now, so... You're gonna stop stalling? We're gonna do a real episode now? Yeah, we're gonna do a real episode. And Eddie, if you don't like us calling, if you don't like us calling you out, you can show up at 777 Markiplier MySkerm Lane. No! No! Not our joint mansions! <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's the plot of land where we all share our joint but separate mansions. Is that Distractable HQ, the, the house we looked on Zillow the other um, year? <laughs> Pain house, pain house, pain house. <laughs> they don't give you the sauce for your nuggets or whatever. It's always disappointing when you get delegated to those spots. What you do is you move to a normal parking spot so you're not inconveniencing the next people who are going to have to use that spot. Go to the trunk of your car and you get out the Ronald McDonald costume and clown makeup <laughs> that you keep tucked around the side of the spare tire in the well of the trunk of your car and you get fully made up as Ronald McDonald. Uh, the face makeup, you did the whole thing, you got the wig, all of the stuff, and then you just march confidently into the store, and you and you walk up, you cut in front of anyone who might be in line, you walk up to the cashier, and you say, I need to speak with your manager! <laughs> this is a cloud inspection! <laughs> and then when they get the manager, and the manager comes up, and they're like, no, I, the regional, I know Dave, he's the regional manager, I don't, and you say, whose clown name is on this clown restaurant? This is an inspection! And you force your way back into the kitchen and you find the meekest looking teenager who's working there so that you know that they'll listen to you. And you and you single them out and you go, you! Show me how you make chocolate milkshakes! And they go, uh, oh, 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 well, we're out of chocolate actually right now. And you say, well then you better make some more! Ronald wants a chalky shake! 
and you scream at them until they make a new batch of chocolate milkshakes. You go through all this, and once they do it, you get, you, you, it's, you're not trying to ruin this one individual employee's day, so they do it, and you're like, good job! And you give them like a star on their name tag or something, whatever they do at McDonald's, and then you just storm out with your big clown shoes. Go back to the truck of your car, wipe the makeup off, put your regular clothes back on, go back inside and order your chocolate shake, because now they have a whole batch of chocolate shakes, and you get what you want. They got a little reality check, from the clown himself, and nobody gets hurt. Sir, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure if Sam played it back, it would be drowning a bunch of people, I heard. Yeah, no, Sam, play that clip where I say I drowned a bunch of people. Oh, I killed all these people. You caught me, Mark. Pontoons are fun. All right, so any other murders we want to admit to here? It's an open forum. I watched Wade kill a hooker in Reno just for fun once. <laughs> okay, cool. Tell me about that. Wade? It's really your story. <laughs> Thanks, All right, wait, go for it. Uh, it was a crisp autumn day. <laughs> Her lips were redder than the bluest moon. What? <laughs> Colors, got it. Okay. <laughs> so, so you saw her lips, tra she transformed into the moon and your murderous instinct took over. Ah, uh, bro, I hate when my girlfriend turns into the moon. Ginger dead man and pyramid head would go. This isn't ginger dead man, this is Chucky! Basically the same thing. It's not. So you don't want to hear how this fight's gonna go? Go, just read it, whatever, man. No. A machete, isn't it? That's Freddy. Freddie Mercury. <laughs> yeah. I think Jason is usually the machete. You know, Freddie Mercury is you just hear in the darkness, stomp, stomp, clap, stomp, stomp, clap. <laughs> you hear the scraping of the wall, but just him holding some piano keys. I don't know why that wouldn't set me so hard, but god damn it. If that ever happens in real life, I'm gonna run away screaming so fast. It could be terrifying if done correctly. Do you guys know mm. about tropes? Yeah, my favorite candy. I like the bright color tropes. You're talking about nerd tropes, right? <laughs> I really didn't want to laugh. I didn't. I really did. I can't believe anyone <laughs> laughed at that. Thank you. I appreciate that. I was trying to think of what kind of candy sounded like trope. And then you I have to be honest, I didn't have that when I said it. So I, when you were like, <laughs> when I got it, when you confronted me on it, I was frantically like, ropes, tropes, 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 ropes, 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 ropes. <laughs> yep. It worked really well. It was pretty good. Almost like you planned it. Okay. So look at this shit, right? It doesn't make any sense to me. What? <laughs> could this have evolved from? Ah, it's the plate of Theseus. You can remove <laughs> one thing from the top, replace it. Is it still the same plate of food? Why Why are we looking at calzones, Mark? I know, see, that's the thing. You would think it was a calzone. I thought it was a calzone or maybe like a taco, but it's a cannoli. So cannolis, they actually originate from uh, Italy, Italy. Itali, right? Which is a mythical continent that was invented years and years ago by a group of people known as yeah. Romans, right? Okay, uh -huh. so when yeah. they were- I just want to remove a thousand points from you. <laughs> but I, I have a note here for two points, parentheses, four boner for Wade. Um, so I put that in and congratulations, Wade. Finally getting some use out of you, old fella. You, uh, you turned on 10% of your brain today and man, really swept the competition here. Uh, proud of you, proud of, uh, this moment. I know we'll never see another moment like it again for as long as we live. No, I peaked. I gotta say, Mark. You've been getting ripped for your, uh, the flower is, whatever the fuck you said about the legs and the flower on Cal. The, the flower is receiving of the leg. <laughs> yeah, no. The <laughs> leg side is receiving of the flower. <laughs> and your distal, like, checker is distal. <laughs> I, I want to say, when I said that out loud, I didn't intend to say that. You didn't intend to sound like an actual psychopath? No, I just, but as it came out of my mouth, I'm like, wow, I gotta own this because they wouldn't believe that I, I <laughs> like, I wouldn't have said this normally. <laughs> so I did not mean to say that, and I understand that that was horrifyingly confusing, but, uh, you know, you just kind of gotta keep going at some point. I honestly, you know what, I guess it makes me feel a little scared for my own sanity. The more you scream, screamed that at us and we're talking about <laughs> for anyone who hasn't seen it we're talking about a video that was posted on youtube where we played a game together where you build furniture calax uh the more you screamed that at us the more i felt like i was right on the verge of understanding exactly what you meant there was a moment <laughs> right before the game ended and we lost where you you were like the light is receiving up the flower and i was like <gasps> and i picked something up and i was just like 
That's the way he means. How do you know which way the line is on the leg? Flower up, line down is so easy. Yeah, you see the no. flower, the line is down. We just didn't see the brilliance of Mark's ways. It's not Mark's fault that we're too slow to keep up with his intellect. See, now that now that Bob has realized the wisdom, I, I, I was actually pretending that I didn't know what I meant because I felt like you guys would be bad. Like, shut the fuck up. Minus 10 points to both of you. <laughs> oh, take more, daddy. Take my points. The point side is receiving on the me. What? Do you, I don't know if you remember well enough. What made you so sad about weird? Because I feel like we pretty much engaged with that as well. It's hard to say because I have a terrible memory and I'm also a bit of a drama queen. Uh, okay, well, there it is. You heard it here first, chat. Chat? <laughs> chat. You heard it here first, <laughs> subreddit, chat. There, fixed it. Comments, esteemed guests. I have been known to be a bit dramatic from time to time because I like attention and it gets me attention. But Fun. I I get it. I sit there thinking, man, I hope the pilots mysteriously pass out but are perfectly fine while the hot stewardess in a bikini comes up and says, excuse me, heroic sir, can you please land this plane? <laughs> and I go, why yes, as my biceps burst through my button down shirt. And I walk up there, <laughs> dick slung over my shoulder and grab the handles. And without even trying, go, <clears throat> and the plane is landed. And they all applaud, and she jumps into my arms. And then everyone else jumps into my arms, and I walk <laughs> off into the sunset. I love the emergency bikinis the stewardess has put on right before the plane. Just in case, <laughs> in case pilots are both incapacitated, put this on. The catastrophic but completely non-lethal partial depressurization that took place sucked off their normal uniform <laughs> and left them wearing only their emergency backup bikini uniform. <laughs> Everybody knows it's in there. And it's not sex because the male flight attendants also have emergency bikinis beneath their clothing. Yes, it's true. And they're also in my arms. Of course. You gotta hold them all while you wrestle the the throttle, the the the, the staff <laughs> stick, the stro <laughs> yoke, the yoke. With one arm, they can torture me all I want. They want. <laughs> <laughs> That's a clip. Oh, there's a there's a little slip that's going to come back again and again. <laughs> they won't allow. I won't let them get to me. I'll hold on for all of humanity. Sorry, I'm drooling. <laughs> just salivating at the thought of being tortured. No, I'm saving and then I die. I die before I give up. Pleasure thing. He just gets satisfaction out of knowing he could handle it. I know that I'm tough and I'm I'm so big and strong. And maybe a little pleasure. No, no pleasure. Nah, it's not about that. D do we not have a clip where you say they can punish me all that I want? They can torture me all I want. I don't remember that existing. <laughs> no, I think I think if you play it back, you'll see is like they won. I think afterwards corrected myself. <clears throat> Where did this topic start? Hey, look, Wade has more foam up. I do. I have one more layer. It's not done, though, so I don't know what you're bragging about. You brought it up. What do you mean? <laughs> I just wanted to bring it up so I could cut you down with it. Look, Wade has more foam up. I do, but not all of it, so we'll just shut the fuck up, Wade. Okay. Yeah, so it's still stupid. Suck it. Stupidly tried following your footsteps to some extent and was like, this sucks. This really sucks. <laughs> so your channel's just copycat of Mark. Got it. Thank yep. you. That explains all the episodes of Settlers of Catan. <laughs> yeah, he just deleted those. He, <laughs> you can find them. I that you know, Mark, you like yeah. space. That seems like something you'd be into. Oh wow! I think I'm gonna recommend that to you. I think I'm getting older by the consonant. If by the time we end this podcast, you haven't bought the moon, I'll be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> I love your optimism of my finances. I really appreciate that. <laughs> well, how expensive could the moon be? No one else is trying to live there. If no one owns it, it's free, right? You just gotta get there. Mm -hmm. Which you know, just get in someone else's car and they'll drive you. Mm -hmm. Maybe Apple can get you to the moon. Thunderbolt your way there, like Zeus style. <laughs> Zeus style? Got that Zeus drip, you know? I just really... I got, I'm zeus out to the nines. And, you know, I did a little bit of research, I did. I scrolled down. It drums up just enough curiosity for you to do some research by not leaving the webpage you're already on and reading two things before you decide you've learned enough. I have learned in life it is better to know a whole lot or no, a whole little about a lot of things than it is to know a lot about a little. And I spend my life avoiding as much knowledge as possible. I, th I think you do actually have to know something 
about some things in order to count them as things that you know a little bit about, though. Oh, you'd think that, but I know a way around it. <laughs> That's... I have people around me who know, and I just say, hey, Mark, help. Oh, what? All right, I'll help. Yeah, thank you. I actually blanked out while he was talking. I do that a lot, where my eyes just kind of glaze over. Dude, I feel the same when you talk about technology. Mark, what did you learn? Valuable information? Do you feel stronger now that you know you're 100% Sigma? Absolutely. When I walk in the room, all eyes are on me, but my eyes are not on them. Well, we have to look around for a minute and look down to find you, but yeah. <laughs> Go on. I don't talk. <laughs> you know the elephant in the room? That's me, you know? Best sense of smell of all animals? Oh, we did learn that. Hey, guys, can I ask a question? What Lord of the Rings character am I? <laughs> okay, it's your own fault if you don't know the Lord of the Rings characters. I know them, I just don't know which one's most like- I'm not really like any of these. You're Merry. Yeah, that's not an option. I maybe I'm I'm more of a Samwise than a Frodo. Okay, hold this this question. These questions. I gotta read one out. Which morally ambiguous route would you greenlight? A. Euthanasia. B. Robbing a dictator. C. Cradle snatching a consensual eighteen year old when I'm thirty plus. Or D. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Unfettered AI usage could be fun. Unfettered. <laughs> and you know, I kind of got to go with that one. That's the type of Sigma male I am. <laughs> I, how do you deal with stress? I go for a nice long hike. I put on my boxing gloves and clobber my punching bag. I buy and make a new Lego set. I write a song or Jackson Pollock my way to feeling better. Bro. I am freaking cooked right now. I'm gonna go Jackson Pollock some shit. <laughs> oh hell yeah, man! I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Jackson Pollock the shit out of this paint right now. Fathers in the 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 I said the preamble. You know, in the preamble, <laughs> they said, "Let there be prior auths." Yes, remember that? No, no, I must have glossed over that one. They taught that in Monday school. Oh, man. <laughs> Dude, Monday <laughs> school is the best. Keanu Reeves seems cool, but he seems kind of introverted. I don't know. Is, is Am I a Harry Styles? I don't know much about him. He's pretty much cool, would be my take on Harry Styles. I don't know. I'm cool. Are, are you sure? All right, I'll click on Chalamet. <laughs> oh, it turned green. That must mean I'm right. Yeah, I know. Green, green means you got it correct. <laughs>